Dans la chambre du palace, les valises de la star sont prêtes. Après une semaine à Paris pour la promotion de son film Barfly, la star est un peu lasse. Une dernière interview et demain elle s'envole à l'aube. Oui. 
Well, that's a nerve you've turned. To some degree. If you don't change, of course, you die. You know, you have to be this. I mean, to grow is the only point of life, to, cheat, to continue to change. I have changed. My son has changed me enormously. My marriage, my, the marriage which is now, you know, uh, over. But that was very helpful. And I think to live outside my country for a while was very helpful. Outside the star machine, outside the... It gave me a perspective that was very important, I think. And I think it made me much sort of calmer. And it freed my energy to some degree. And it's lovely. It's the experience, you know. I think, I think that I have changed. Something. I'm less driven than I was in my, the very early years of my career when I did Bonnie and less victimized by my own um, energy, you know, if you will. The American dream to achieve anything, <laughs> to work really hard, to, which is very exciting, but the problem with it also is that it, it does, sometimes you forget to live along the way. <laughs> and I think I've learned that now. Would you like to live in Hollywood in the 40s or 50s and no. it's a great period? No. <laughs> no. Yeah. You have no, no, any nostalgia about this period? No, I think it was... Um, I think you had much less freedom then, you see. I mean, so much of your life was controlled, your private life was controlled completely, and I would be very unhappy if I weren't able to live exactly as I, I like in my private life. And I think they put a lot of sort of titles on you, and you had to be larger than life, and you had to be exactly the way somebody else wanted you to be. There was so much control. There was protection as well, of course. You know, Louis B. Mayer would protect his children. But I can protect myself. <laughs> I think, anyway, I try to. <laughs> no, I think there's more humanity. It's more fun, more interesting now. And how could you define your job of being a star? Of being a star? <laughs> How would I define it, huh? Well... Is your beauty always a friend for you? Or is it an enemy sometimes? Well, it's... It's not a perfect beauty, you know. <laughs> it's not... Uh, I don't think of it as being a problem, but it's not... I don't think of myself as being particularly beautiful. Um, but to define being a star is interesting. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. The difference between being a star and being only an actress. Ah. Well, it's interesting. <laughs> it's energy that makes a star, I think. Charisma. And you can't control it. But I think what makes what we... I used to call in drama school the shine, uh, the charisma, the shine, because some people have the shine and some people don't have it. You somehow are more interested, if they're going to be movie stars, in that aspect of them, right? And what creates the shine is energy. It's very simple. Einstein probably said it first. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. Intellectual, emotional energy, physical energy, it goes beyond the, the core of the body, I guess. So that, that's what I would say is the difference between just an actress and a star. You never talk about your childhood. Childhood, I mean. <sighs> what kind of a little girl was I? 